This is a GRE permutation probability practice question, specifically a probability practice question. Don't worry too much about whether such a question will appear in the GRE. What is important is the approach that we'll be taking to solve this question. This is a classic question, right? Will help you crack questions in probability permutation combinations much, much more effectively. Let's get started with this classic. What is the probability that two squares, the smallest dimension one, selected randomly from a chessboard will have only one common corner? This is a probability question. To solve any probability question and find the probability, we need two things. We need the denominator and we need the numerator. For any question, keep this in mind, the denominator counts the total number of ways that event can happen. So next question is, what is the event in this question? We are selecting two smallest dimension squares from a chessboard. The total number of ways in which we can select two squares from a chessboard is going to be the event in this case, and that is going to be the denominator. What is the numerator? Numerator counts the favorable number of events. What is the favorable event for us? We need to select two such squares in such a way that they have only one common corner. So let's set about doing that. The denominator first part, count the number of ways of selecting two one by one squares. If you get this, this gives us a denominator. This is the easiest part in this question. The numerator, how are we going to find that? I'm going to essentially pick a chessboard and then let's count few instances in adjacent rows or adjacent columns of squares, pairs of squares, which have only one common corner. And then from that, let's infer something if possible and then extrapolate to find the numbers such are available. So the favorable event is finding out and counting pairs of squares, smaller squares, which have only one common corner. Let's start with the denominator. That's the easiest part. Denominator counts the number of ways of selecting two one by one squares in a chessboard at random. How many one by one squares does the chessboard have? It's got 64. That's very straightforward. It's eight rows, eight columns, eight into eight, 64. We let us select two one by one squares out of these 64. How can we do it? It's like selecting some two out of 64. That can be done in 64 C two ways. So denominator is found. This is the easiest part in this question. As I mentioned, to compute the numerator, we'll actually take a chessboard, right? This is a, a modified version of a chessboard for us to easily move through. It doesn't have the black and white squares. I basically kept two colors for adjacent rows to help us crack this question effectively. Look at these. Whichever sets are marked with a red arrow, you'll find that these pairs of one by one squares have exactly one corner in common. To make life easy, I'm just going to number some of them. This is one, this is 10. Basically, every row has got eight such squares. So this will be the ninth, this is the 10. One and 10 have exactly one corner in common. Let's leave this, let's come here. Let's pick this one. Let's take an A and a B. A and B, they share exactly one corner in common. Look at this, this is let's say a C and a D. C and D also share exactly one corner in common, which is what this would be. This is just square number two, excuse me. <coughs> and this is square number eight. Two and eight share a corner in common. One and 10 share a corner in common. Same will be the case for two and 11, so on and so forth. So if you count it in two adjacent rows, in these downward arrows, which are whichever pairs are marked by the downward arrows, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Similarly, if you count the pairs which are marked by this upward, upward arrow, we'll have another seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in two adjacent rows, we realize that there are seven upward arrows and seven downward arrows. So that seven plus seven, 14 pairs of squares exist, which share exactly one corner in common. Now this is for rows one and two. Similarly for rows two and three, we'll have 14 such. Rows three and four, we'll have 14 such. So how many such pairs of rows will we be able to count? One, two is a pair, two, three is a pair, three, four is a pair, four, five is a pair, five, six is a pair, six, seven is a pair, seven, eight is a pair. For any one of these, we found that we have 14 such pairs of squares, which have exactly one corner in common. How many such pairs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven such pairs of rows exist. So how many such total squares exist? We have 14 into seven, 98 squares in a chessboard, which share exactly one corner, which have exactly one common corner. So this gives us the numerator. So we found out the numerator in this step, which is 98. We know the denominator, which is equal to 64C2. So this should give us the answer. In the last slide, let's compute the 64C2 and reduce it into the smallest possible fraction that we can get. 
Right now, let's quickly summarize the discussion of counting the number of outcomes of the numerator in the next slide. What is the numerator? We have to count the number of one by one squares, which have exactly one common corner. So what, are we, what did we do? We picked the first and second row in a chessboard and counted the numbers that we had. There were arrows which are pointing upwards. We had seven of them. There were arrows which are pointing downwards. We had seven of them. So seven plus seven, we had 14 such one by one squares which have exactly one common corner. This is for rows one and two. You'll find that we'll have 14 for rows two and three. So we'll have to pick adjacent row pairs. How many such did we have? We had seven such cases. In each row pair, there were 14, there were 7 such row pairs, so it makes it a total of 98 such favorable squares. Required probability is the denominator being number of ways of selecting 2 squares at random from a chessboard, the numerator being number of ways of selecting 2 such squares which have exactly one common corner. So numerator is 98, denominator is 64c2, which I'll write it as 64 into 63 divided by 2. The 2 will get cancelled with 64 to leave us with a 32. 98 will cancel with a 2 to leave us with a 49. That will make this 32 into a 16. 7 times 7 is 49. 9 times 7 is 63. So what we have is 7 divided by 16 into 9, which is equal to 144. So required probability is equal to 7 by 144. Answer choice B is the correct answer. What is the fun if I just leave you with this question and don't give you two variants to try? There are two variants that you should try. The first one, what is the probability that a pair of one by one square selected at random from a chessboard has only one side in common? Again, the thing is, pick two adjacent rows or two adjacent columns. Check code if you are able to figure out what is happening and then extrapolate it to get to the answer. Denominator is essentially selecting two squares at random. So that's going to be 64C2. Numerator is where the fun is. The second variant which I would want you to try is what is the probability of selecting a white square and a black square in a chessboard such that the two squares do not lie on the same row or same column. Is the quant section of the GRE examination. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online quant course for the GRE at online.vizaco.com. I'll repair it. It's online.vizaco.com. Two, check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to this channel.